Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how you can easily format an external hard drive or flash drive or any type of drive pretty much like that uh, to get it into the correct format and there's two reasons you'll want to format it. First of all, if you want to use your external hard drive or flash drive, which I don't know, and not really a flash drive, but an external hard drive with the time machine and you buy a regular external hard drive, pretty good chance it's not going to be formatted for the Mac and it's going to be need to be reformatted before you're going to be able to use it for time machine backups. And secondly, everything is just a little more smooth when it's formatted for the Mac, so in HFS, which is the format that Macs use. Um, Windows typically uses FAT or NTFS, and you don't really have to worry about those names, but um, it, everything just seems to work more simply when it's formatted correctly for Macs. So to format any type of drive, external hard drive, flash drive, going to need to use Disk Utility, which is built in. It's right in your Utilities folder um, on every Mac, but what you can do, which is easier, is just search for it in Spotlight. So I'll go up to my Spotlight menu here, and I'm going to type in Disk Utility, and I'll open up Disk Utility. Now my Disk Utility icon is a little bit different. I have a custom icon for Disk Utility, but yours will not look like that icon, but same application, trust me. So Disk Utility is going to open. It's going to gather your disk information. And on the left-hand side, you're going to see a panel with all the different disks that are connected to your computer. You can see here I have my internal hard drive, my Time Machine backup hard drive, and that's split into two, and then a USB here, a USB flash drive plugged in. So what you do is you just click on the name of any drive. Now, what you're going to want to do is click on the name of the drive, not the partition. What I mean by that is, you can see here this says 2.03 gigabyte Kingston Data Traveler. You click on that, not the partition, which is indented, and that says USB, because that is just the partition of it, and that, and not the actual device itself. Now, if you know what partitions and you have separate partitions, you can click on just a certain partition, and it'll just erase that partition but in this case we're going to just erase the entire drive. Now this works both ways with external hard drives and flash drives and I'm just going to show you on the flash drive because I don't really want to erase my time machine backups. So you're going to see all these tabs right here and I'm just going to click on the erase tab and now you're going to see the format. Now MS-DOS which is FAT format is what Windows uses um, for you know flash drives and things like that and that is probably most likely what the flash drive or external hard drive is going to come shipped with. Now, of course, you could spend the extra money and buy the Mac version of these external hard drives, but it's much easier just to buy the plain old version and just format it afterwards. It'll save you some money because I know manufacturers like to mark up stuff like that. So within format here, you're going to choose Mac OS Extended Journal. Now, not the other ones. Now, those are used for other things, but if you wanted to use it with Time Machine and you just want the all-around best format for everyday file usage, you're going to want to use Mac OS Extended Journal. And then, of course, you can name it here. I'm just going to name it Flash Drive. Now, I can click on Security Options if I wanted to, and this will give me some different options depending on how securely I, securely I want to erase this. So don't erase security, that's the quickest option, or don't erase data, I should say. And it doesn't actually erase the files. So if you have a disk recovery application, you can recover data off of it. And that's the least secure. Now, you can go all the way up to 35 pass erase, which basically writes over everything on the disk 35 times. Not necessary. Either zero, or zero out data or the default don't erase data are going to be fine. Um, but don't erase data will still leave access to your files even when they're erased. You won't be able to see them, but they will still be there. So I'm going to click OK, and I'm just going to click Erase. Now it's going to warn you. It, del it deletes all data on the partitions, and it has one partition, which is USB. So I just click Erase, and you can see it unmounts the disk. It's going to partition it.
and it's just going to finish up. It'll take longer depending on which security option you take and how big the disk is and you can see it's finished now and it's called flash drive and it's empty. Now you'll be able to see if I go into finder here and click on a drive there's nothing in it 1.88 gigabytes available. Now just a word of warning if you have this drive and you formatted it for Mac OS extended journal and you plan to use it on a Windows computer now you plug it in it's not going to be able to work it's going to tell you to format it on Windows because the formats are incompatible and Windows will not be able to read Mac formatted drives. So just a word of warning, if you tend to transfer data back and forth between Windows machines and Macs, you're going to want to leave it in the FAT format. So that's really all there is to it and this can save you some money in the sense that you won't have to buy the Mac version of the external hard drive if that's what you're planning on buying, which they sometimes do mark up. And now you also know what to do when you want a drive prepared for Time Machine. So that's really well at all. That's as simple as it is. And I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.